and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Any reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from Ligue 2 BKT. It's Saint-Étienne up against Gangon. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, this is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing-backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And let's dissect the starting 11 for Gangon. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And so the battle commences. Making progress. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Dylan Luiser. Guillaume. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Nkunku. Victor Lobri. Trasso. And he's in. No possibilities inside the box. Spot on with that tackle. Kunku. Now moving the ball impressively here. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Nicely timed tackle. could really get at the opposition
using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Niels and Kunku. Well, he's lost it. Libolon. Guillaume. Good technique displayed. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Can he put them in front? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Well, let's find out if they can get out of their defensive posture here. Can he get them in front? And a decent save, full credit. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Short corner it is. No way through. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Dennis Appy still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Guillaume determined defending Victor Lobri and the pass could do damage being egged on by the crowd can't miss surely and there it is the breakthrough that will do nicely Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. And the emphasis is on creativity. Every pass hitting its target. Dennis Appiah. Fantastic work to thwart the danger.
He's going forward well here. Now well, let's see about the cross. And well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Breaking at pace. And he read it superbly. Luis Serre. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. It's got to be! And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Moncondui. Now let's see what they can do here. And the ball with Thomas Moncondui. fluency of movement well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass ten minutes left for play well they're certainly thinking about a winner but timely defending when it mattered the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. Let's fly here! And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, what can you say about this? It's hit so cleanly with exactly the right amount of bend on it. And he does so well to get it back down in time once it goes over the wall. Excellent strike. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And so into the final five minutes. Well, still time for them to level it. Moncondui. Fomba. And it's with Apia, and an effective clearance. He takes aim. Oh, keeper in control. So a personnel change then. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And he clears the danger. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.